Chewbacca in the new hit film Solo, A Star Wars Story. Take a look. Divert auxiliary power to the rear deflector shield. We definitely do. Since when do you know how to fly? 190 years old? You look great. Till we get in, I'll help Lando. Please welcome the man behind the mask, Jonas Suotamo. Look to you. Do I look like I'm? You're looking like in the ground somewhere. This reminds me of the time I was in the John Hancock building. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Come on over here, you always have a seat. Yeah. You don't need help getting in that thing. No. There you go. No, your feet will touch the ground easily. How tall are you? I uh, I am six eleven and a half. Were you rounded up to seven feet? Yeah. You always go seven feet when always you're close. Always seven feet. Yeah. Always. So you're always the shortest kid in class growing up. I was. I was picked on a lot. And. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, look at you now. Yeah. Uh, and of look course, at me now. Yeah. Of course, you play basketball. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I used to. Do I turn like this? However you want yeah. to turn. It's yeah. your oh, world. It's great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of Star Wars fans. They love you. Oh already, yeah. So you're fine. We're recognizing a slight accent. I know you were born in Finland. Yes. Born in Finland. Still live in Finland, actually. Still live yeah. in Finland. I come from a country far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> now, now how, how big was Star Wars for you growing up in Finland? Huge. Uh, first, Probably the first movie I ever saw. And, uh, yeah, my dad just wouldn't let us be without watching Star Wars and Indiana Jones. And yeah. I just f fell in love with, with the characters and the story and the robots and yeah. everything. Did you yeah. ever think as a kid that you would end up being Chewbacca? I always knew I was going to be too <laughs> <laughs> No, but never, seriously, never in a million years did I think I was going to have this opportunity. Well, how, wait, I'm dying to know how the opportunity came about because you are the man now. Y yeah. Well, yeah. He's like, yeah. Well, the Wookie. You're the Wookiee now. I am the Wookiee <laughs> now. And uh, the opportunity came because I'd played basketball all my life and uh, I was doing this other uh, job and I got a call. Like an acting job? For, for, no, video. I was uh, filming corporate video. Oh, no way. Uh, videos, and uh, I got this call from the Finnish Basketball Association saying that, hey, there's big budget Hollywood film looking for a seven footer <laughs> with blue eyes. And uh, I said, that sounds like me. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, so I went, went in and uh, auditioned for five months and went to London and met J.J. Abrams and everyone. Wow. And uh, because this was during The Force Awakens and mm -hmm. they wanted me to act co uh, alongside Peter Mayhew for, for, for scenes in, in The Force Awakens. So, yeah, that's my, my start. And this is my third Star Wars film now. I inherited... Yeah. 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 Uh, Congratulations. Yeah. Were there you. any other... I mean, like, how many other seven feet tall people with, with blue, blue eyes, eyes are there? Like, did you even have any competition <laughs> in the audition yeah. process? I was fairly confident that I was going to get it because JJ wanted specifically blue eyes, and uh, yeah, I don't. I've never met anyone besides me and Peter Mayhew, uh, who is <laughs> who is both seven feet and has blue eyes. So. Yeah. Yeah, and frankly, I'm not interested in meeting them. I think I like it this way. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask you, being in that costume, how many hours are you in it? And I know you're shooting some scenes in like really tough temperatures. Yeah, yeah. I mean, every every day is a is a challenge, unlike any other. But but fr frankly, uh, because Finland is very known for its saunas, so uh, <laughs> I'm used to being in hot places and withstanding the heat. So I was basically born to play this role, it seems. <laughs> But there's a, isn't there like a cooling system in it? I read no, that. There's no, there's not a cooling there's, system. There's yeah, Finland's the natural cooling system. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But there, there are a lot of helpful people on set, which bring floor fans for me, and I just go and sit in front of those and cool off whenever no it's feeling to, too toasty. Right. That's, and you make all the noises. I... <laughs> 
What? Wait, how do you teach us how to do that? How do you do that? Was that a part of your audition? Like, did you automatically not do that, or did you learn that on the job? No, I wanted to impress Harrison Ford, so I learned how to do it. <laughs> so, can you teach us how to do the noise? How do we do it? You just uh, do the pitch, and then you do the. Roll, roll your R's. Can you? Hey, you know who's rolling her R's? It's Cardi B. You and Cardi B. Oh well, yeah. Chewy and Cardi B. You guys exactly. are both rolling your R's it's gonna, now. It's gonna happen. Yeah. That might be. <laughs> that would be. That would go viral like crazy. You yeah. and Cardi B rolling your R's. Exactly. Have you ever thought about that? I did not know. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah, this is the first time I knew. Is that might be the first time in the history of the English language that Cardi B and Chewbacca have been mentioned <laughs> together. This is amazing. Rolling your R's is a skill here. I didn't. I love it. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, we're terrible. We're let's terrible. Let's move on to something else now. <laughs> you were recently featured in a docu-series too, E60 on ESPN. That's right. Tell us a little bit about it. So this is about your basketball career transitioning. Oh yeah, yeah. I went to Penn State and played uh, college basketball. Look at you. And, and we were, yeah. Uh, dominant. You guys have some good teams. Look at you dominant in the paint. Uh, yeah, the the clips made me look better than. Uh. <laughs> oh, so you're a better actor than you are a basketball player? Uh, I think so. I would like to think so. Yeah. Have you ever tried your hand at volleyball? No, no, no. But I'm I'm glad that this this uh, clip is showing because yeah, I think they're showing it today uh, on on uh, the Sports Center as well. A clip are of they? it. Of this, so oh, people awesome. should watch it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, I have a beach volleyball team down at North Avenue. I could really recruit you and oh, use you. Really? Tuesday all nights if you're do free. Is do this. This is all you have to do. Just hold your hand straight up. I'll teach you. I'm a coach. Sure. Yeah, that's it. When the ball comes over, you just go like this. Not you, in my house. You have to be. <laughs> do you have to be tan to be in your team? <laughs> we can take care of that. Just some spray. A little spray tan. Okay, cool. You got it. Jonas, thank you so much. Such a pleasure to oh, meet you. Okay. story is in theaters tomorrow. Make sure you go check it out. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.